Hi guys, I am on my way to go meet Gwen and meet two authors today. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jesse. I am currently vlogging while driving. Don't recommend drive safe. But not only am I on my way to go meet Gwen, but we are both going to an author event. We are most excited to meet Ashley Winstead, which is the author of In My Dreams I Hold a Knife, The Last Housewife, and then also her newest book that just came out, Midnight's The Darkest Hour, which also happens to be the Sleep When I'm Dead book club pick for the month of November with Elizabeth from Reading Riley. So we're both so freaking excited. This is also, I believe, me and Gwen's first author event. So we're super excited. Um, we don't really know what to expect, but yay! Um, the event is in Richmond, which is about two and a half hours from me. And then Gwen, it's about an hour and a half from her, I think. So we're both meeting there. We're both on our way, which is super exciting. And we're gonna meet, have lunch, do a little sightseeing and stuff like that before the event. So we're just so excited. I can't wait. I also brought my Sleep When I'm Dead tote bag, which if you want your own, shop the merch. But I brought my current read, which is Midnight is the Darkest Hour. And then I also brought In My Dreams I Hold a Knife. And then I'm really hoping I can get a copy of The Last Housewife because I did really love that book when I read it. But it was a library copy, so I never got my own. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I got about a two and a half hour drive. So I am actually going to be rocking out to 1989. Not dealer's version, unfortunately, because that doesn't come out till Friday. But to get in the mood for 1989, I'm going to be listening to the original. So, but you best believe Friday is coming. So let's go ahead, get the show on the road, and I'll update you in a little bit. <laughs> I see it in your eyes Yeah, I can read the signs You need to get away It's time we make a change Oh, you know you'll always have me Baby, I will always stay with you So put your trust in Get out, you'll see If we get in a car and drive someplace far Yeah, we could go for a ride Made it to Richmond I'm currently waiting outside the bathroom Me and Gwen had to go, so uh, But we just stopped in this restaurant to use the restroom And then we're gonna go get lunch We're really gonna have to pee, so It's gonna be so much fun There she is <laughs> I'll have your back if you'll have mine You and I, you and I Wanna leave everything behind If you wanted to Promise you we will Yay. be alright Here we are, we're in Richmond, yep. we just ate What did you have? I had a chicken, or no, I didn't have chicken It was a Caesar salad with lemon and a chicken salad sandwich in a pear. And what else did they give you? They gave you some, did they, you get carrots too? I got carrots, but I didn't eat them. Okay, so I had carrots, chips, and a grilled cheese with apples sandwich. It was so good. Um, it's weird. <laughs> it's so weird. delicious. Um, I had sparkling water, cream soda, um, and now we're gonna go try to find, is it called the book bar? Book bar, yeah. The book bar. I think it's a black owned, black women owned bookstore. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try to find it. Yep. Get in a car and drive someplace far. Yeah, we could go for a ride. You and I, let us run away. We can go where we want. We are parked and we are walking to another <laughs> local bookstore before we head to the event. Um, Gwen said this place used to be called Chop Suey Books, but now it's called Shelf Life Books. I'm not sure why the name changed, but we have about an hour or so 
before the event. So we're gonna head over here and just kind of chill, take some time. Oh my gosh, look at the side of this wall. That is so cool. That is so cool. And this little restaurant's really cute. So yeah, I also did this off camera, but we uh, went to the bookstore, Fountain Books, to see like what to expect and stuff like that. And I also ended up buying The Last Housewife. Yeah. Um, so that way she can sign and you know support a local business and an author <laughs> you know so yeah let's go in the bookstore i love you like if you love mine you and i you and i <laughs> Like the day before, you're like a stone on my pillow. Oh, I don't ass. make a sound when I shut the door. Oh, you don't have to wake up yet. Oh, we can spend all day in bed. I'll put the TV in the room. Okay, so we went to the bookstore. Some fun, but now we're headed to the main event. What's it called? Books to Die For. Yeah, or Books to Die For. Books to Die For author event with Ashley Winstead and Danielle Valentine. Let's go! <laughs> you gonna update yours? You can update it. You just did it for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey guys, so we are actually walking to Fountain Books. Um, we went to not chop suey shelf life books. Yes, um, and it was so cool They literally have a book for everyone <laughs> never seen a more Diverse indie bookstore. Yeah, like they had Used books and new books. So that right there is diverse new poetry used. a huge graphic novel section Yeah, I've never seen a like that was like it was bigger than my library <laughs> It was ginormous, but we're heading to Mount, uh, Mountain. We're <laughs> heading to Fountain Books for the main event, and the event is Books to Die For with Ashley Winstead and Danielle Valentine. And I have not read Danielle Valentine, but I have, has. I have the books for them to sign. <laughs> Did you read both of them? No, just the one. Oh, because you're getting gonna... getting delicate condition. That's the one that she's here for. Yeah. Um, but I have my two Ashley Winsteads, the thriller ones, and the YA slasher book. Yes. Yay! So I'm so curious to hear both of them talk because one I have read from before and the other one I haven't. So yeah. I don't know. Maybe I might get a Daniel. I'm so Hawk. excited. I am too. So is this your first author event? It is. Oh my two! <laughs> oh my <laughs> baby's first found. <laughs> Valentine. <laughs> baby's first author event. <laughs> so anyways, we're probably getting a bunch of stairs, so we'll <laughs> we're gonna go. <laughs> She's an outlaw, but really is just broken and is looking for a family. And I don't want to like tell you anything else about the book, so I'll give it away. But like, and I'll start to cry, and nobody. Yeah, <laughs> and so even okay, I'm tearing saying, up just thinking about it because it is a punch. In the even stomach. just it's saying amazing. the title, like it's the title is this like quote from one of the important people in her okay. life, and it just like even saying the title, I'm just like. <laughs> and we begin at the end. It's amazing. That and, like, I'm going to take it back to breathing, like. <laughs> so, anyway, if you want okay. your heart to breathe, <laughs> that's the book I would recommend. For it this is amazing. You, you, it, and he's a British writer. I think he did actually give me a blurb, too. Like, he was very, very nice. <laughs> and so, he's even it's, better. It's, I have a question. Yeah. So, one of my favorite questions to ask but never answer is, mm -hmm. if you had to describe <laughs> your book in three words, what words would you use? Mm -hmm. But I think it'd be cool if you said three words for her book Ooh. and you did the same thing. Okay. You're fun. Okay. You're not gonna spoil it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No spoilers. Yeah. yeah no spoilers. But as, as seriously, y'all, once you read these books, you we, we will have a book club. You will come back. <laughs> Vicious Madonna witchcraft. Ooh. Okay. I love that. Okay. She said to describe my book, not describe me. <laughs> 
I will accept that for I both. I mean, like you said, <laughs> your voice is just Danielle on the page, right? It's your, it's your ice cream flavor. It's your ice cream flavor. I feel like for yours, it's not as good, but I'm like swampy, <laughs> fairy tale. Okay. It counts as well. Like hot. <laughs> You know what I'll take it. Both in the temperature and like, oh, no. yes. I will take it. You know, hard. That was hard. Yeah. It's, it's my favorite ass, but least favorite. She has a book club and she always asks. Yeah, people. and I hate. Yeah. I hate no, I like it. It's, it's a good, hard. Yeah. It's hard. I'm gonna steal that the next time I'm doing this with Ooh, two others. Yeah. yeah. It was close by, um, so we had a beach and a swamp, and so I found I there was like always this mix of like kind of pulse pounding risk. You know, because you've got the this really dark, opaque water underneath you, this a ton of natural beauty, um, especially in in Florida, just like the the plants that look prehistoric, right? They look like they've been around for uh, forever, and there's yeah this mix of beauty and danger. So when I was thinking to myself about my fairy tale book, like my book that I wanted the atmosphere. Um, so much to feel like that duality of beauty and danger and like anything could really happen um immediately i thought of the swamp and my sister happened to move to new orleans and so i'm in houston and for years i've been going back and forth um and to making the drive through a lot of the towns that i ended up including in midnight drive. oh we yeah. love a star <laughs> Oh well, the stack's so good. good. How are you? Good. Um, so I have a lot. I'm sorry. We do not ever apologize to another. <laughs> this is an author's well, favorite. This is thing. both of our first author event. Yeah. 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 Like two different ends of Virginia just to be here. To yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we love you guys. So I had to come. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that, that's my favorite thing too. And then I have an extra one for you as well. Oh. Is this you? This yes. Is you. Okay. Jesse. Virginia's about okay. two and a half hours away. Star City. Wow. Oh my God, oh, Jesse. That's thank you. Yeah. Um, fun fact, actually, um, midnight is the darkest hour. Is actually my next month's book club on the channel. It's her Ooh. book club. It's not a book club she's a part of. It's like her yeah, book you, club. Oh. She runs it. Yeah. Oh, you <laughs> Oh yeah, we will not spoil. No, no, I would never spoil that. <laughs> and while I was sitting waiting for y'all, I actually noticed that the last author who's on um, Lurgers, I think, is it? It was, uh, it was on uh, somewhere. Oh, maybe it's on that one? It was on one of your books, like. Uh, Adria Bart's? Maybe oh, it was, yeah yeah, 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 on Delicate Conditions, uh, yep. Oh, Andy, she, like, yeah, she just interviewed her. She, she's so I sweet. Her. I love yes. Andy. Yeah, she, she's a friend. Yeah, she just interviewed her and stuff like yeah. that. She, she actually great. blurbed this one, too. Uh, yeah, she, yeah, she, yeah. she blurbs. She, she blurbs. <laughs> She's very, she's, she's very generous with paying it forward to other writers. Yeah. I, like, I love that. Which is also great. Have had million we want to sign for everything. I, like, okay. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. If you don't for long enough, I will sign for <laughs> 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 Try Ashley's a big boy. Yes. Okay. Yeah, do whatever oh, you're favorite. That's a great idea. Oh. It was hers. <laughs> Y'all are so smart. <laughs> These two actually got in town extra early. They came in early this afternoon. I'm like, oh, you're yeah. yeah. So oh, they oh, my gosh. Yeah, I took a half a day at work. And we, <gasps> she's it. on the other end, so we were like, let's just meet for lunch. Oh, and my gosh. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you're okay. sorry, you're staying in town tonight. Oh, no, we're driving back. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Worth it. I hope you have an audio book to listen to. Yeah. I'm on chapter seven of this one. So. Okay. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> 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 so not some, no. <laughs> we need some recommendations. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. The, um... The narrator of this one actually sounds like one of her other friends. Oh really? Oh, really? <laughs> and she has like a very innocent, um, like southern type of voice. Uh, I told her that last night. She's like, who would want to like? <laughs> it's like, like oh, I think it's. Oh, I think it's so. Yeah. That's yeah. 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 I'm glad you said that to her. Yeah. Um, I can't remember who the narrator is, but I was like, this sounds like Keisha. Yeah. <laughs> 
Sorry, I have to write love notes. No, yeah. I know everybody <laughs> hates that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we hate when you're writing our books. been inspiring me to write more because she's so, <laughs> so sweet. And would you like this one personalized mm -hmm. as well or just signed? Uh, just signed, actually. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to do a giveaway for my book club. So, I love that. Since I have two now, so. um, when are you guys meeting? Um, so it'll be virtual on YouTube. Uh -huh. um, it is the Monday after Thanksgiving. I do okay. the last Monday of every month. So. Well, if you want me to pop in or anything, um, I would love that. Yeah. I actually do, do, and you said you'd check your schedule. Okay. <laughs> so, like, so, so, how's that? Yeah. So, <laughs> so, yes, that sounds awesome. Perfect. Yeah, so if you're free, Sorry, oh, Jessica, now you know the state of my DMs. No, no, which is I know you're fire. super busy. You know, like, oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> it's worth more. Yes. Okay. Okay. Say, but... <laughs> okay we so live in fear one. of messing up people's books. It's like my deepest, deepest fear. When this I'm is. Honest, I'm gonna misspell. <laughs> actually, the first time I've ever done it too. Yes, so. I have definitely. Ooh. Missed it. I know. This is. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That one's just. So I'm just okay. gonna say. There you go. You got two. <laughs> I don't have to read all these. <laughs> Oh, no. Do you want me to write you like a bookseller's note for your boss? Just be like, please excuse Jesse from work. She has a lot of reading to do. Well, I am the boss. So oh, oh, oh so yes. I, I feel like that's probably even more stress because, you know, like a show. That's right. <laughs> we just got done. Yep. It was incredible mm -hmm. i am on cloud nine yep. they were both so freaking nice mm -hmm. they signed all of our books they signed we got totes mm -hmm. they we took pictures with them they they smelled good like oh, they each really? had their own like fashion sense i thought wait did you sniff them <laughs> So yeah, like Gwen was saying, we just got out of Found Books, coolest bookstore ever. Um, we got to meet the authors, we got to hug them and talk to them and ask questions, and we got some book signings, some free toes, and oh my gosh. And oh my gosh, I ended up getting Daniel Valentine's book, Delicate Edition. I'm really excited. I wasn't initially excited for it but now the way she pitched it and talked about it i'm so intrigued and the coolest thing ever is um ashley winstead offered to be on the live show which i'm so i was good. freaking yes. out she was like because i you kept saying like my book club and when people say that they might think that like the book club that you're part of i was like no it's like her mm -hmm. book club yeah <laughs> that she runs yeah and she offered that yeah, and she was anything. like she was like um do you want me to like pop on yeah and we were like uh yeah yes i do <laughs> so i gave her my instagram i'm gonna reach out to her as well uh, yeah and then oh we're God. just gonna oh my gosh it was so much fun and i got an extra copy oh, yeah. <laughs> she, she messed up by writing her name in the book mm -hmm. i was just like oh my yeah. gosh i was so shocked and i even asked the book owner i was like do you want me to pay for the extra one she's like oh absolutely not oh so, my god yeah so andy at found, found book bookstore go check her out right here follow the instagram we'll link it down below yeah i'll <laughs> leave the address somewhere on the screen in case you guys ever want to visit but yeah so much fun cannot oh my god it was <laughs> all the memories in the making <laughs> Hello you guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Sorry the vlog kind of ended a little bit abruptly, um, but I love looking back on these memories. Not only did I get to go to my first author event and meet authors and also get one of them to agree to be on my live show, but I'm so thankful that I got to have the opportunity to do all this with my friend Gwen. So thank you so much Gwen. I'm going to leave Gwen's channel down below so you can check her out as well, as well as the link to Sleep When I'm Dead Discord that's where you can find all of our book club information, but also that's where you can also submit questions for both the book club discussion as well as questions that you can ask Ashley Winstead yourself. And yeah, make sure you mark your calendars for November 27th at 8 p.m. Eastern here on my channel where I will be interviewing Ashley Winstead as well as going over the book with Elizabeth. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Bye. Hello, Ramona. I can't shake.